has been one of the most challenging of seasons in modern times. It has brought challenge uh, just to about everyone. Uh, freelancers uh, have been affected too, but as entrepreneurs and small business owners, we need to stay sharp and look for hidden opportunities in the midst of the chaos. They are out there. So today I'm going to show you the three things that you should be doing right now to take advantage of the unlikely opportunities happening during the pandemic. Hey there, I'm Matt Kastner. I'm a freelance business coach and I help purpose driven professionals go from employee to boss by showing them how to use their valuable skills and experiences and turning them into rewarding freelance businesses so that they can enjoy the freedom of being a business owner while passionately serving the clients that they love. Guys, looking back now, it's November and uh, we've been living in this pandemic reality now for uh, almost eight months. And the the crazy thing is, is that it just seems like it just continues to go on and on. And I have uh, I have already spoke several times about, you know, working inside the pandemic and more mindset and staying positive. Today, I just want to talk very practically about how we as freelancers can look for opportunities in the midst of seeming uh, of chaos and find opportunities to not just grow, but thrive during the pandemic. Uh, when the pandemic happened, I know there was lots of shifting happening. And I, I just want to talk about you know myself and watching a lot of the clients that I was doing work for have to take and pivot or or cut back and that was just a reality that was very real um, for me and many freelancers like me um, we were kind of in the process of waiting and see what's going to happen with the pandemic how's this all going to shake out when people are are moving out of corporate offices into their homes companies are downsizing there is just a lot of instability we're kind of, uh, you know, through some of that main shakeup phase, and now we're kind of into the settlement phase, and, and a little bit of kind of, you know, what's on the the corner ahead, uh, where is things going to go from here, but what's the current state of affairs, and what should I be doing as a freelancer? So I want to talk to you just a little bit about. Um, what life has been like for me over the past several months. I have seen uh, a lot of interesting things happen since the pandemic has began. One thing that I have seen that has not really surprised me, but has, has, has really been a cool thing to see is people that are coming out of their, their nine to fives and working at home and now finding an opportunity to do work from home we, i've seen uh, hundreds of people looking to start online businesses people looking at opportunities and seeing that there's a chance for them to to start making some side income or perhaps even replace existing uh jobs that they either have held or did hold and so today i want to talk to you about three very important things that I think we should all be aware of now that we're kind of in the settlement phase of the pandemic and start looking for opportunities to grow our business. Because guys, trust me, they are out there. Um, we need to uh, elevate our thinking be, be, you know, you know, above, you know, this is just a bad situation and and realize that life is going on there are things happening around us and we need to be paying attention so one of the things that i want to share and so this is this is the first thing i want you to know is that i want you to be acutely aware that there's this big ground shift that's happening in the labor market all right all of these companies now are um are, are sending their employees home and there is a lot of, of shifting happening on uh, the corporate level, okay? Those of us that are freelancing, we're working from home. And, and for me, I've been working from home for 15 years. So for me, uh, this is no big deal. I kind of have just been rolling on and uh, there weren't many changes that I had to make. Now, uh, schooling with my kids 
and you know just dealing with the the realities of uh, of school and businesses and just the the sheltering in place and all that that certainly did affect me from a work standpoint though um, I didn't have to make a whole lot of adjustments but for the vast majority of corporate America they have seen tremendous change happen and what that has done is it's created this whole new economy of home-based workforce okay so the first thing we need to remember is that if you're a freelancer you've already got a leg up you've already figured out the systems and you know how to work from home efficiently okay so that should give you a little bit of comfort you've already figured out some of the biggest pieces um, that are challenging work from home employees right now. Some people can't stand it and are ready to get back in the office. Others are thinking it's not such a bad idea, but they've got to figure it all out. They've got to figure out what it's like to work by themselves independently and be productive. Okay. So for you, I just want to say that is a huge benefit that you are already conditioned and used to being at home and being productive. Okay. Number two, I mentioned earlier that I have witnessed this groundswell of online business owners trying to start businesses. Okay, people who are at home now, who have a business idea, who are trying to get it off the ground. Now, these are people that uh, some, some are trying to create side hustles, some are trying to create real businesses, and they are in desperate need of people with professional skills to help them launch their businesses. Okay. You've got people that are trying to launch a product, whether it's virtual, whether it's a physical product, and they need help with writing. They need help with marketing. They need help with branding. They need help with website design, with e-commerce store construction. They need help from a variety of different ways. Many of these people have no idea where to start. All they know is they have an idea and there are people all over that are uh, trying to get something started. So there are opportunities for us to be able to connect with these new small business owners and be able to provide them with some services. Okay, now in, in today's economy, you're probably not going to find all of your income in just one of these customers. You're probably going to have to find several, but the fact that there are some out there and there are some out there that are really willing uh, and have some financial resources to be able to pay, there are some opportunities. Um, a friend of mine um, who lives in Texas, uh, she has a retail store and she has been employing people left and right because she has taken her store online and has needed help to help her growing business. She did not need help in her retail store, but she needed help in her online space because it was growing so much because she had shifted um, because of the pandemic. So you've got these retail business owners as well that are looking for an online way to, to expand or to keep their business alive and they need help they need us okay so reach out to your chamber of commerce reach out to a local network get online get in a facebook group and start talking with people that is my number three recommendation don't sit still get out there and start making some connections talk to your retail friends talk to your store owner friends that are that are trying to pivot in the pandemic Find Facebook groups where people are trying to get an online business sorted out and offer yourself as an expert in whatever field it is that you do work in and start answering questions. Start lending a hand and you're going to start creating a, uh, a platform for yourself to be accepting new work. Okay, guys, there's opportunity. We just have to realize that this that this, uh, this season of this pandemic has created some very unique business opportunities. And the way things are settling into reality is that we've got this displaced workforce that is now trying to create some opportunities. And we have some retail storefronts in our communities that are trying to pivot and uh, you know, trying to keep their doors open, but trying to shift their business online. And each of these, these, these groups need professional services like you and I can provide. All we have to do is start talking to them, 
start providing them with some support and answers and the work will come. Trust me. All right. So number one, the one thing I want you to remember is, hey, this shift is happening and it's affected everyone. And as a freelancer, we have some advantages because we've already been working at home. We know how to be productive and we're ready to go. We're ready to start working right now. Number two, there has been a huge groundswell of online business opportunities, whether new startups or uh, existing businesses that are pivoting uh, because of the pandemic. There's an opportunity now to serve these clients. Okay. And number three, we can't sit still. We have to get out into the market. We have to get online. We have to get into some of our chamber networking um, opportunities, whether it's online or, or, or in person. Start meeting people. Start offering, uh, start offering yourself as an expert, helping people solve problems. Once you start to solve and start answering people's questions, they will start to realize that you have some skills, that you are an expert in your field, and then they will want to partner with you to become a part of their business, okay? Trust me, there are opportunities out there. We just have to be looking for them and be willing to go out and get them, okay? Hey, listen, I hope you enjoy these, uh, these sessions. I enjoy uh, sharing some of the experience that I have learned. Uh, sometimes it's, it's been 15 years ago. Sometimes I'm just learning it just like last week uh, with the way things are changing. And I love sharing this information with you. I want you to know that starting very soon, I am going to be launching a podcast. It's a podcast for freelancers and talking about how to grow your freelance business. All right. It's called the Marketing for Freelancers podcast, and it's going to be launching very soon. So if you're interested, I would love for you to check out uh, I have a page where you can sign up and get on a wait list. It's freelanceonfire.com forward slash podcast. Leave me your email address and I'll be sure to notify you as soon as the podcast is ready to launch. Okay. All right, guys, I hope you have a fantastic day. And remember, the opportunity is out there. We just have to keep our eyes open and stay ready. All right. Hey, I hope you have a great day. God bless. <laughs>